So welcome back to my kitchen. I just got back in from a run and I thought, you know, this is a good time to share this little thing with all of you that I do every single day. Not, not, I'm not a big fan of the word biohacking, um, but that doesn't mean you can't learn something every single day, and I certainly do. And so I'll credit this to Dave Asprey, who's sort of the father of this biohacking idea, or should I say, taking a shortcut in order to get a benefit that might otherwise take more effort or more work or more time, or even in my example here, having the right resources available to you. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about exposure to extreme temperatures or extreme environments. One thing that we're aware of can be helpful with regard to that word hormesis or hormetic stress that I talk about in the book. And I also talk about the mammalian dive reflex, this idea that when we're exposing our body to colder temperatures, we can initiate some biological changes which can enhance our health. Well, here in Florida, we don't have very cold water that comes out of the shower head. So it's challenging to be able to take a cold shower, even though I very often will turn the water on the coldest temperature. And having a cold plunge tub is simply beyond my means right now. And I'm sure for many of you listening, you don't have six or seven K that you can just drop on a tub so that you can climb into it for, you know, a minute or two. So Dave Asprey had this great idea of using a salad bowl and dunking your face. And so this is, I, this is something I've been doing for quite a long time. Um, and so I thought I would share it with you. So I've got this salad bowl. I filled it about three quarters of the way with water, stuck it in the freezer. So three quarters of the bowl is uh, filled with ice. Um, then I, what I do is I take it out and I fill it with another inch or two of water and then I fill that with ice cubes. Uh, and then what I'll do is, is dunk my face. So let's, let's give it a try. And the goal here is to expose your face where most of the, your body's uh, temperature receptors are, but also you, you, uh, you can get a vagal nerve um, engagement or connection, if you will, uh, also, and, and that is uh, beneficial. So with this face plunge, uh, we can in theory get the benefits of a full body cold plunge in a fraction of the time at a fraction of the expense. And in my case, um, I don't have to worry about trying to get cold water out of the shower head. So I'm gonna do this four or five times uh, in a row for as long as I can uh, hold on to it. And what I'm always doing is I'm always gonna hold my breath, allow the water to, to penetrate my nose, obviously. And um, when I feel like I've done it enough or where I can't really tolerate the cold anymore, I'll stop. But the goal is four or five uh, times for anywhere from five to 10 seconds. So let's give it a try. All right, I'll take another breath. significantly colder on the second rep because I've sort of, uh, you know, set up my face with that first time through. Uh, so it's much more sensitive to the cold. All right, here we go. All right, so I'll stop there. You get the idea. I'm gonna turn the camera off and do a few more uh, reps, if you will. Give it a try if you believe at all in the power or benefits associated with exposing yourselves to these extreme temps. I absolutely think there are many potential benefits. And by the way, it's one of the reasons why I'm actually a fan of running down here in the summertime where the humidity is extreme and the temperatures are extreme. And while it's more challenging, I think it's, I think it's healthy for me. All right, have a great day.